Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Want to personalize your iPhone home screen but don't know where to start? In this video, I'll walk you through the latest tips and tricks for customizing your device's home screen. Let's go. There are plenty of ways to make your screen look unique and functional. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to customizing your iPhone home screen. Changing your wallpaper will have the biggest effect on your iPhone home screen. You can use one of the default options from Apple's collection, including one of your photos. To do this, open your Settings app. Scroll down, go to Wallpaper, and then click Add New Wallpaper. Select an option from Apple's recommendations. Adjust any other settings you want by tapping or swiping on each element. Tap Add, then select Set as Wallpaper Pair or Customize Home Screen to customize how the final home screen will look. You can also add widgets to personalize your iPhone by displaying more information on the home screen. You can download Widgy Widgets on the App Store. It is an app that allows you to create highly customizable widgets for your iPhone home screen. It can also display various types of information, such as the time, date, weather, battery level, calendar events, and even custom data from other apps. Once installed, open Widgy. Set it up and then tap on Continue to confirm the changes. Now go to the Manage tab and select the action Set up transparency. Based on the instructions, you must take a screenshot of your home screen and add it here so the widgets will have a transparent background. If done setting up, proceed to the Explore tab, you'll see various widgets you can customize to your home screen. Select one and then tap on Import Widget. Go back to the home screen. Tap and hold to jiggle. Click the Add button above, then select Widgy. Swipe to choose a size. Add Widget and it will display the one you imported. That's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or other problems with your Apple device, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.